So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, I wanted to do this video. Um, obviously, I know you guys have probably seen the back and forth between Billy Joe Saunders and, and you, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, I wanted to get your take on what would happen if there was a rematch between those two guys. How would you see that fight playing out? How would you see that fight going? Um, I've said that I would love to see Billy Joe fight Chris Eubank again. I know Billy Joe's fighting Canelo Alvarez, which obviously is a monster fight for him. But um, if those two guys were to rematch, how would you see um, that one playing out? I think there's a. I think there's. Firstly, we've got to see how Billy Joe gets on against um, Canelo. Let's see how he does in that fight. Um, we have to see it whether Chris Eubanks improved. Now we're not going to learn much, or we shouldn't be learning a lot from this Marcus Morrison fight because Chris Eubanks should be winning that quite comfortably. Now the back and forth has been really good between the two. Like can, um, Eubank has said that he's going to put ten grand on Canelo knocking out Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders has also come out and said he would pay Marcus Morrison ten grand if he beats um, Chris Eubank, giving Marcus Morrison an incentive of an extra 10 grand if he can pull off uh, what would be a shock defeat because I don't think anybody's expecting Eubank to lose. Um, I really would like to see that fight again. I, I would, if Billy Joe was to be unsuccessful, uh, like a lot of people are predicting him to, I would love to see him fight uh, Chris Eubank. I think it would be a great fight. I think it, I think it would be a great fight. It would be a huge fight for the, for the British fans here, and I think it's a stadium fight. I think it could sell out a stadium. Depending on how Billy Joe does in that fight, uh, if he does well, I think there's definitely, that fight can be marketed and be a huge fight. And I do think it's a big fight financially for both, and it's a big fight for them to put them back out on the market. If, if for example, Billy Joe was to lose to Canelo, then that's a perfect fight for him to get back to the top. Uh, especially if Eubank can get hold of a title at middleweight by fighting Morata, because he is the interim world cha WBA world champion. Morata is the super world champion. So if he can fight Morata, um, beat Morata, then that makes that fight even bigger. So I think that fight for me is a fight that I would like to see. How would you see that fight playing out? Like I said, it, it depends on a lot of things. How much has Chris Eubank improved? Uh, since he's fought Billy now, Eubank has been saying he's improved a lot and he's come on leaps and bounds. And he said Billy Joe has been static. I don't think Billy Joe has been static. I think Billy Joe's improved as well. And what I mean from that, I think he believes now he's one of the top fighters out there. Whereas before when he was fighting Eubank, he was saying things like, you know, Golovkin can beat me and you on the same night. So he didn't really believe in himself. Now he feels he can believe beat these top guys. Whether he does, that's another matter, but he believes he can. Whereas before, I don't think he really believed in himself. So I do think from from, men, from a mental standpoint, I do think Billy Joe's um, an improved fighter because he believes in his skills, he believes in his ability. Whereas before, like saying things like that, you made you question that he didn't think he was at the top level. Now he feels he's at the top level. You wouldn't hear, hear Billy Joe saying that, you know, Golovkin would do me and you on the same night now. Uh, Billy Joe's a lot more confident. And I think... Uh, I think yeah, and I also think he, when you're more confident, you know that 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 improves your perform. That for me improves your, um, or should improve your performances. Um, I feel like I, I I feel like he's he believes in himself. He believes in himself a lot more now. Saunders now from a physical standpoint, I do think he's a lot fitter now as well. So I do think physically he's in better shape than what he was. And when he gets prepared for big fights. He's in great shape. Now, he's not. that's not always been the case. He's not been very consistent, Billy Joe, and his performances in the ring have been very erratic as well. Um, but I think that just that's just the kind of person Billy Joe is. I think he um, he's capable of producing those erratic performances, but he's also capable of producing a Lemieux performance uh, against, you know, a good world-class level, a good fringe world-class level guy like a Lemieux. We don't know whether he can do it against an elite guy like a Canelo or even Golovkin. Golovkin's a bit old now. He's past. He's past his prime. Um, but let's see how Billy Joe gets on. But in terms of how I think that fight, I think I think Roy Jones now um, being Eubank's coach. It depends on how much he's taken on board and how much he's learned. If you can't learn from someone like that, you know who's one who's one of the best, then you know you're in the wrong sport. But I do think Eubank. Like I said, I've always liked Eubank. I've always thought Eubank's a good fighter, and I always think Eubank. Um, could give Billy Joe problems in the rematch. Now, I would favour Billy Joe in the rematch just because I think Billy Joe has a style 
um, that would cause um, Eubank trouble. However, I don't think it's as one-sided as what people think. I think I think Eubank's got really fast hands. If if, if Roy Jones can improve him, uh, improve um, Eubank's feet, help Eubank improve his feet, which is very possible, then I do think that that fight is very very close. Because like I said, Eubank for me is the better athlete. Eubank uh, has the faster hands. Eubank for me has the better chin. Right? He might even be a little bit more explosive and powerful than Saunders. But I think Saunders is the better boxer. He's got the better boxing IQ and he's naturally gifted. He's naturally he's more naturally gifted than um Eubank when it comes to uh when it comes to boxing. Um so yeah, I think when it when it when it comes to hit and not getting hit, I think uh Billy Joe's a lot better at Eubank than that. Um but Eubank has got advantages in going into the fight. So I do listen, I'd I'd love to see that fight because I don't think it's as one sided as what people think. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good fight between two um, two very good fighters. I know a lot of people think that Eubank's not a great fighter and Eubank's overrated because of his dad. I disagree. I, I, I do think that... I do think he's still not fulfilled what he could potentially achieve in the sport. I think there's a lot that he can achieve still. So I, I like Chris Eubank. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of them that has... Slamming Chris Eubank saying he's rubbish, you're overrated. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I think Eubank's a good fighter. Um, I think now that he's under Roy Jones, uh, I think we could see the best of Chris Eubank. Let's see how this relationship plays out. Uh, we have to obviously, it'll be tested when, it's, when he's in there with a top level guy, a world class guy. Uh, because when he's come up against the, you know, the best fighters that he's fought, um, I know we fought the Gale and beat the Gale, but the Gale was way, way past his prime. I'm talking when he fought Groves and Saunders, he came up short. Next time he comes up against a fighter like world level, world class level, like a Saunders or a Charlo or Andrade, someone like that, I think that's going to be the stern test to see how far Eubank has come or how much Roy Jones has improved him. Because as Roy Jones mentioned that bef we're, we're preparing him for when he gets into a fight that he probably would have lost before and actually going in there and winning it. So he's talking about the likes of Saunders, the Andres, the Charlos. Uh, because to be honest with you, I think we would all have Eubank an underdog in all those fights. So has Roy Jones improved or can Roy Jones improve Eubank where he can go into those fights and not just give those guys hard fights where it's close, but actually win? You know, because even the George Groves fight wasn't easy for Groves. Yeah, I know Groves, you know, he did well, but I think it was I think it was a close closeish fight. Eubank had his moments in the fight. He just wasn't good enough to get over the line. So Roy Jones, as Eubank said, is is not just he's a trainer, he's a, like a teacher. You know? So can Eubank adopt some of the things that Roy Jones has been teaching him in his style? To help him become a world champion, a legitimate world champion, I believe. I believe so. I believe so because I, like I said, I think the reason why I think Eubank and Roy Jones is a good fit because I think Eubank respects Roy Jones because of what he's done in the sport of boxing. Whereas I think before when he had those trainers, I don't think he. Although I know his dad was with Ronnie Davis for a very long time, and I'm not saying he doesn't respect Ronnie Davis, and pretty does. He, I'm pretty sure he does. But I feel like Eubank was doing everything himself. Whereas I think with Roy Jones, I think when Roy Jones speaks, you listen. And I just think Roy Jones would have a lot more, I won't say control, but I think he just he would respect Roy Jones a lot more. So when Roy Jones tells him what to do, he'll listen. Whereas someone else, like the Nate guy that he had before, I think he was more controlling what was going on in, in camp. Uh, whereas I think with Roy Jones, Roy Jones is the one that's controlling the controlling everything in camp in my that from from what it looks like because I don't think Roy Jones would have it any other way Roy, jo Roy Jones is one of the greatest fighters of all time he's not going to be dictated to by Chris Eubank so I just think that that's why I think it's a good fit because I think Chris Eubank Jr. respects Roy Jones for what he's done in the game so I think that I think both I think it's a great fit for Chris Eubank whereas I think if you have someone in the in the corner that's not that well known, that maybe Chris Eubank doesn't respect as much, I think he's going to do his own thing and probably not listen. Whereas I think with Roy Jones, Roy Jones will have a lot more control of what's going on in, in camp. And when Roy Jones speaks to Chris Eubank, then they listen a lot more. 
so I think it's a perfect fit. I think it's a perfect, perfect fit. Um, because the Eubanks are a bit funny like that. You know, when what Chris Eubanks said to Dave Caldwell, you know, uh, Chris, he, when, he, when he was fighting one of Dave Caldwell's fighters, he goes, that he, I don't, I can't remember who it was that he was fighting. Uh, one of Dave Caldwell's fighters, I can't remember who it was. But he said there's a difference, like Chris has got a, a, a proper fighter in his corner, whereas the guy that Chris Eubank was fighting has got Dave Caldwell and he referred to him as like a PE teacher, which was quite disrespectful. But so I, I, think, I think having someone like Roy Jones in the corner, I just think that they think that, oh, this is a guy that's a legend that's done it at the very highest level. So I, I personally think it's a good fit for Eubank because I, like I said, I think he'll respect Jones um, he, he'll respect Jones and I think, he, I think he'll take on board what he's saying and let's see if, if Roy Jones can improve Chris Eubank um, hopefully he can because um, I think Chris Eubank has got what it takes to become a world champion Without, I'm not saying he's going to dominate at world level or anything like that but I think he has got what it takes against the right opponent uh, to become world champion and actually when you look at Billy Joe you'd actually say stylistically it's not the right opponent however if Chris Eubank can improve his feet and get to Billy Joe Saunders, I think the fight's a lot closer and harder for Billy Joe than people think. I don't think this is a one-sided fight. And I think the first fight, a lot of people say Billy Joe was out of shape. Yeah, I get all of that. He, he was, most likely. But I do think that Chris Eubank, I, I do think we may see something like that in the second fight where, where Billy Joe does well early on. He's fresh and sharp. But then later on, his stamina has always been an issue. He kind of fades toward the end. If you look at, apart from the Lemieux fight, even the Andy Lee fight, he faded towards the end. The Eubank first fight, he faded towards the end. And I, I, I personally think if Eubank can improve himself and get to Billy Joe Saunders, make it a hard fight. Let's see how Billy Joe does against Canelo. Does he fade in this fight? Uh, because that will give us a more an accurate indication where he's at. Because he would be fighting an, an, an elite fighter. We'll see where his stamina is at. Because now he's basic, Billy Joe's basically saying that before he wasn't living the life and working hard in training camps for the Eubank fight or even for the Andy Lee fight, he referred that he didn't have uh, the kind of training that he has now. Uh, so this fight against Canelo would be a great indicator to see if he fatigues later on in, in the fight because he may just have a stam stamina issue where I, I've always said I think Billy Joe has an energy consuming style. So he moves around a lot. He's, you know, he relies on output, uh, winning rounds. Uh, I feel like his style moving around is, is very energy consuming. Um, and I think that, I think naturally he's going to tire later on in the fight. When you're moving that much, you're going to tire. It's just, it's, it's just natural for you to tire when you're moving so much. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how Billy Joe gets on with Canelo. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if how Chris Eubank gets on tonight. And I expect him to win quite comfortably, but then... The next fight after that, hopefully it's against a, a good world level fighter where we can see a lot more from Chris Eubank and see how he's come uh, come on from you know working with Roy Jones. And then hopefully um, we can see a Chris Eubank v Billy Joe fight. I think it makes a lot of sense financially for both guys. It's a huge fight. It's a fight that the fans would want to see and a fight that I would like to see. It's a great fight. It's a great fight between two very good fighters. Very good fighters. And, and who knows, maybe Chris Eubank fights Murata and wins the WBA Super Ch World Championship. Let, let's, hope he, look, let's hope he fights Murata. I'd really like to see Chris Eubank become a world champion. Then that fight with Billy Joe Saunders makes a lot more sense. It's, it'd be financially the biggest fight out there for both of them. It will sell out a stadium. You know, a great, it'll be great build-up for the fans. And I think the fans would, would love that fight. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a... It'd be a damn shame if both of those two guys don't fight each, each other before they retire. Because when they first fought, they were both British level. Uh, they were both green. Uh, whereas now you could say they're both at world level, right? I know Chris Eubank's not been a world champion, but he's at world level. You know, he's fought some good, solid opponents at world level and he's beat, and he's beat them. So um, I, I personally think that now the fight would be a lot more interesting. I know... Chris Eubank lost Saunders, but I think that was British level. And then Groves was um, a world level guy that he lost to. But then he beat De Gale. I know De Gale was past his best. Um, he beat off Abraham again, past his best. But the fact of the matter is, I do think Chris Eubank can win a world title against the right or against a right right fighter, right style. Um, Billy Joe might be a style that's not 
great for Eubank, but that's why that's where I want to see how much Eubank's come on and how much he's improved and how we would do against someone like Saunders who boxes and moves, who gave him a lot of trouble, especially for the first six, seven rounds in the first fight. How would he close the gap this time? What improvements has he made under Roy Jones? So that's, that's for me, that's intriguing. Um, so I would like to see that rematch. Would you like to see that rematch? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys make of that fight? And who do you think would win if those two fought again? Who do you think would win? Chris Eubank? Or, Billy, or would you think Billy Joe would outbox Chris Eubank again? Or do you think Billy, uh, Eubank would force a late stoppage? Or even win on points? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.